Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and here's my Virtual Beast deck profile that I've been meaning to bring out for a while. Um, I just had to pick up a few extra cards. It's actually a while it's been taking me so long. Um, so, for the most part, it's fairly standard. Um, three elders. They're, um, you know, they're just the best. Of, I think I feel like I've talked about them enough. Um, so this is just more of a deck profile. I won't really go over like what they all do. I'm playing two win. Two aura. And three Kana Hawk. He's, you know, just the best of the uh, Spiritual Beast. Three Rim Pengu. He's a really close second. Um, and in some situations, he's actually better. Uh, especially, you know, for the, like, the Elder uh, Penguin uh, Defacer play. Two Leo. I've, there were points where I can, were considering three, but two seems to be enough. Um, and one Dolphin. And that's it for the monsters. Um, with a, an exception, there's I have like two variants of this deck, I guess, and I'll I'll go over um, the differences. I'll go ahead because in this deck I'm playing two mask change number two, so I can go into uh, divine wind. But uh, you can swap this out if you don't want to do this. Because originally the reason I wasn't playing this was I, I was unsure. I forgot if it if the monster had to go to the graveyard or not. Um, for it to resolve, and it doesn't. So, because a lot of the times you're playing, uh, you have a D fish or a macro face up, so it would be a dead card essentially, but it does work under D fish or a macro. Um, but another way to play this deck is instead of the two mass change number twos, to play two self feeds. And what he does is you can banish him, uh, or no, I'm sorry, banish one wind monster from your graveyard to special summon him from your hand. Uh, and he's just a level four. He helps banish, you know, which is what the deck's all about. He's also 1,700 attack, so not a, too bad of a beater. And uh, if he is destroyed by battle, you can randomly discard one card from your opponent's hand. And he just really helps open up the uh, the rank four toolbox. And it also opens up the play with um, if you open up Penguin and a Sylphie, you can summon Penguin, uh, banish the ulti Canna Hawk to send the regular Canna Hawk, then banish the Canna Hawk to special summon him and make a Lavalle chain. And then you can send uh, a Tamer or whatever. You, you could, if you sent a tamer, then you'd have ambush live, so uh, that's why I was playing him. And I still don't know exactly which build I like better, um, but there, it's just two different options. I wanted to show you guys uh, what, how you could play this. But uh, the two mass change number two is just a good way. Like uh, I, a lot of the times, you find yourself with only one monster, and uh, and the guys the, that you make isn't isn't too bad. The uh, divine wind, he. Uh, He's 2700, and then uh, he can't be destroyed by battle. And then whenever he destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can draw a card. And so being having the ability to draw a card is definitely super. Always, you know, it's always pertinent. Um, but uh, anyway, two mass change, just, uh, trip, triple and Misty, You know, fairly standard with everything right now. Not too great against the Necroz matchup, but. Um, it just uh, a lot of the time, like with Necroz, you just want to like save it for the uh, for the vanities if they play vanities emptiness. Um, but uh, it's pretty good against most other decks right now. I'm only playing two Etellies because I feel like that's all that's necessary. Um, you don't really want to see this card. It's just kind of a consistency card in case you don't open up like an Elder. That way, if you open up like an Etelli and a Conahawk or Etelli and a um, uh, Rampangu, it's still a decent play. It's not the most optimal play, but you, it's just a card you have to play, unfortunately. Then a shitload of one ofs Foolish Burial, Defissure, Gold Sark, Book of Moon, Snatch Till, Rageki, and then one Bond. Um, all these cards are just really, re you know, like, uh, these are just power cards. Bond is super useful, especially if you're, like, going for game. With this deck, you can a lot of times just play really slowly and, uh, you know, just keep your pace real even so uh, if like and I, I, I did make uh, I didn't notice that if you have two a paleo and a Conahawk and you've cleared the field at that point then uh, if you use your last Conahawk search for bond you can you can game with this because it's uh, 26 plus 26 and then 14 and then uh, you'll after that you'll do bond to summon another Hawk because a lot of times you've already sent your third paleo to, uh, or you've already banished it using Rampangu most of the time, so um, this is a way to OTK is for exactly 8,000 without the third uh, 
a paleo. Obviously, if you had a paleo, you could just summon him too, and it'd be good. So you attack with all three of these monsters, then you bond these two into another hawk, and then uh, that turns out to be exactly 8,000. So um, it's really good. It'll be better uh, after Cross Souls comes out because we get a new guy that's 3,200. And uh, to properly fu uh, fusion summon him, you have to use uh, an ulti monster and then a tamer and a spiritual beast but you can just ignore its summoning conditions and summon it with this so at any point you can push for an additional 32 or potentially even uh, 42 if you've used um, the regular paleo twice in that turn uh, so that just has a tremendous game changing uh, matter but then you know standard just everything else and defissure is really really good and these uh, gold stark and foolish just set up your plays Then moving over to the traps, we play Triple Steeds and Triple Ambush. Uh, both of these cards are just stupid good. This is just free special summon two monsters, and this is free destroy any amount of monsters your opponent has pretty much. Um, they're just stupid. I'm playing Double Mind Crush because it's good against basically everything right now. It's good against the, the Mirror Match, it's good against Necros, it's good against Burning Abyss and, and Cliff Horts. It just everything searches. Even Satellers, they use Rota a lot, and uh, what's the uh, Deneb. So, I mean. There's not really a reason not to play it. And then a Solemn and a Macro. Um, I've questioned Solemn a few times. Like, I sometimes wonder if I would rather have, like, a third um, third Mind Crush or, like, even throw in a Mirror Force because sometimes Mirror Force can be just super important to this deck. I was running... Originally, I was running two Mirror Force rather than the two Mind Crush, but I uh, opted out for the Mind Crushes. But, I don't know. If I could cut this and maybe one other card, I'd maybe run two Mirror Forces, but... I can't think of what I would want to cut at the moment. Um, and the macro is just amazing, especially, again, if you had macro and, like, mirror force, it can just be so, so bad. Uh, then moving on to the extra deck, we run, of course, triple uh, ulti Canna Hawk. It's just the best card in the deck. Um, triple Apaleo, uh, I wish I could run four, because, uh, again, like I said, a lot of times you have to banish one to uh, get your deck rolling with uh, Rampangu, and you really want to be able to summon three, but you just always can't. Um, two ulti Pink Dolphin, because um, a lot of the times you'll also banish one of him, and then you want to be able to go into one. Once you summon one, like it's really hard to get around, because you can't be destroyed by card effects. He has 2800 defense, so not likely that he'll be destroyed by battle, and then he can't really be targeted by anything, because you can just defuse him. So, two's all, all you need for sure. And then I'm also running the two Master of Divine Winds. And like I said, he's really good. Um, he's 2700. Uh, if you destroy a monster and it goes to the graveyard, so um, I know that can be tricky because, again, you do run macro and defissure. Um, but uh, if it does go to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. And he can't be destroyed by battle, so he's got quite a few purposes, really. Um, one, the Bobble Chain, which I have to give uh, props to uh, Through the Decades for letting me borrow for this video. Uh, I'm uh, Since he's being reprinted in gold, uh, premium gold number two, the return of the bling, I'm just going to wait. Once that comes out, I'll probably pick up a DT, but um, he's yeah he's, he's already starting to drop in price, so he's only going to drop more. But he's he's super essential to the deck, especially if you're playing the the variant with the Sylphids, which I, I do really like, because it just gives an additional way to open up with a good play rather than, you know, just open up like Grand Pangu or something. Um, one Cowboy, um, one Exiton, one Chidori, and one Dweller. They're just kind of uh, just additional rank fours that you could go into. You really don't go into rank fours too much in this build. You, you go into it more often, like I said, with the selfie. So it really does help open up the uh, rank four toolbox. Because basically, anytime you see him, you can make a rank four. And having the ability to go into like Dweller and uh, Exiton and the yeah, Chidori too, because he, he's a win, so you can make Chidori uh, with him. Uh, it's just really good. But I want to try out, like I said, I don't know which build I prefer yet. I'm going to be trying out both um, and see which way I like it. Um, I could see the potential both ways. And then if I wasn't. You know, if I wasn't running this guy, D Divine Win, I would just throw two other uh, generic rank fours in there. Um, probably like, uh, uh, what's his name, Rhapsody and Berserk, and I don't know, somebody else. Um, maybe like a Castell or something. But, um, 
that's it for uh, unless you won't care to see my side right now. Uh, this isn't a definite side or anything, but it's just three book of Eclipse. Uh, the third Mind Crush. I'm only playing two vanities in the side because it really hurts this deck, so I don't even know if I want to play it, especially if you have like macro or something up. It, get, it becomes really hard to get rid of this card, and if you're not special summoning like 20 times in a turn, then you're not really playing this deck very well. Uh, two Ojama Trios for Burning Abyss, as, long as, uh, as well as with the uh, two Shadow Mirrors. Uh, two Twisters, and as you can see, one is ulti and one is not. Uh, this one's actually ulti German. I picked it up a little bit ago for $15, but then suddenly now ulti Twisters are $30. I don't know what happened, but that happened. So I was going to pick up just like an English one, because they're actually in German is still just Twister. Um, so I was just going to pick up an English one. Uh, to go with it, but they shot up, and I don't feel like paying $30 for a Twister. Um, and then Triple Mirror Force, and this is, uh, I might cut it down to two, but this is for uh, Cliff Forts, really, as well with the Twisters. Um, because you, um, a lot of times, especially if you do only open up like Suboptimal, like the Rampangu, or uh, just a Conahawk or something like that, then uh, you want to be able to protect your monsters, and you know, Cliff Forts just could totally just OTK you. Uh, you like Conahawk and you know you set up a good play or whatever and they're like all right OT game <laughs> so that's what I'm playing triple mirror force and again it's really good with uh, macro and and D Fisher and could potentially uh, it could potentially work uh, two copies into the main deck somehow um, but as of now this is my deck profile uh, on virtual beast uh, let me know what y'all think about it I really enjoy this deck uh, hopefully y'all didn't see my duel in the <laughs> Yugi Tuber challenge where I was playing this and I just it's just an off day you know everyone has certain days where they just can't Yu-Gi-Oh and that was that was my day <laughs> so um, I, I'll be trying to get up some uh, real duels on this actually uh, so I can show you all how this deck actually does play out and stuff like that and uh, it's a lot of fun so as always uh, please remember like comment and subscribe this has been Rarity Home peace out